Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Civil War by Guns N' Roses. So in this one, we're going to take care of all the acoustic guitar parts, and then we're going to have a couple more lessons where we take care of all the electric guitar riffs, and the last one will take care of uh, both of Slash's main solos. Alright, so let's start here. We're tuned down a half step. So tune your entire guitar down. That's going to be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. All right, so we're going to be based around just two chords for the most part in this opening, uh, this intro, which is also the verse. So it's just going to be an E minor chord. And then just a G, and all you have to really play is that much of a G. So it's just third fret on the low E, second fret on the A. So you kind of rotate between those. And then back through those two chords. And then the next chord, all you gotta really do is put your second finger on the low E string at the second fret. We have a little melody on top of that. So let's talk about the picking pattern here. We're gonna hold that E minor chord, and you're gonna pick starting on the low E string. You're gonna pick a downstroke, then a downstroke on the A string, then an upstroke on the D string and then back to the fifth string here with a uh, downstroke. So it is. That's one half of the picking pattern. All right, now we're gonna go to the G string, upstroke, then upstroke on the D, downstroke on A, and then up on D. So you'll notice I'm always picking in the direction of the next string that I need to pick. And that's a good kind of way of thinking about it to make everything as economical as possible. So we have basically an eight note picking pattern there. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now on the last one, instead of doing the last two hits of the eight notes, you're gonna do a, you're gonna hammer on zero to two on the A string and then the open D. All right, so we have this pretty much. Then it does the same treatment on the G. And then back to the E minor. Again, back to the G. Now the G is going to be held a little bit less time here. You just do the picking pattern once there, and then take it down to that chord with us. Just you have your second finger on the low E string, and you're going to do this just that first half of the picking pattern on the sixth, fifth, and fourth string. And then you're going to come over and play this little melody on top of, which is two on the G, then open, then over to two on the D, and then, then open G again. Just down, up, down, up. All right, so having said that, the very first time they play it in the song, they're gonna leave out uh, two notes, basically. So the pattern was this, right? Well, the first time you hear it played in the song, it plays that first note, but it skips the second note. So that first note lasts the entire length of those two notes. So it just goes. You notice that? So instead of going, we have just this. So the rest of it on that chord, you know, you're just doing the picking pattern twice on that E minor. So the very first one was the one that was altered. And then they do the exact same thing when they make it to the G for the first time. Alright, so I'll play it just as it's played when you first hear it. And now you just pick straight through. Alright, then it starts over that whole part again. Now the only change the second time through is how they get to that 
that last chord there, which is just everything else the same, except he doesn't do any pausing. There's just, you know, picking straight through each time, full pattern. This is when the vocals are in now. Now right here, you're gonna hit that second fret on the A, then the open A, and then go to that chord. So it's just a slight little variation. If you just really wanted to get it completely accurate. And then back to the normal pattern. Now there's a little, I know this is acoustic lesson, but there's a little electric guitar melody over that, which uh, really only happens here. So I'm just gonna kind of, well, it happens throughout the song, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. It's very simple. It's 12, 10 on the high E string. And then 10, 11, 12 on the B. Then you do that again. Then 10, then slide to eight, then seven, and five. All right, so that's done on kind of an, a clean electric tone. All right, so we have a little layer that happens when they transition back around to the verse again, a little guitar layer comes in. Thought I might want to show that one just in case you have a second guitar player to play with. I'll play through it real quick. And then it goes back into the verse again. So we're just basically playing fifth fret on the D, fourth on the G, fifth on the B, then the open high E string. And now we had that same picking pattern we did before, but it's just now across these four strings. All right, now switch it to just a standard G major here with an open E, I guess. But And the picking pattern there, we're gonna be holding those three notes, third on the B, fourth on the G, fifth on the D. Open high E still. We're gonna pick across D, G, B, and then back down to that D. Then the high E string. Then you're gonna pick across just the second to the fourth, a couple times, so, so the second to the fourth, and back. So we have this. Now we just pick across four, five, three. Now take it back one fret, and we're gonna play four on the D, open G, three on the B, and the open high. So those first two measures are. Now we start over again, same. First measure and the same. Except now, after that, you just go straight to this four on the D, two on the G, three on the B string. Just kind of pick across those strings and then pick the four, slide it down to two, and kind of hear the two and the open B string together. So that's the second half of it. So that's just there for kind of completing the sake. All right, now we have, I guess what we consider the pre-chorus. It sounds like this. All right, so that's a random arpeggio picking pattern. So we're just working off a G chord. Now the G chord, you're gonna hold that low note on the low E string, third fret, mute the fifth string, and then have the open D, open G, and then that D note here on the B string. So just pick across those four strings. Kind of make it sound nice. It's just kind of a random. And then we go to this chord. 
All right, so we're basically second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D, open G string, and then the third fret on the B string. Just gonna do a pattern between those four strings and then on the E minor. So there's no right or wrong here as long as you keep that momentum going. Then back to the G. Now, second half of it, the E minor's not played, it's played half as long as before because we gotta go from a C and then to a D. So all together. just repeat uh, all the way into the chorus. All right, so stay tuned for the next lessons. We're gonna take a look at all the heavy riffs and uh, slashes for solos. I'll see you then.